I don't have a gift. I'm just an ordinary human being trying to do something that I didn't know how to do. So I just started doing it once I decided I wanted to make Dixie cups so I could throw them near cell phone towers. And then when I, a few years later, several years later, I thought to myself, well, why don't I make aesthetically pleasing orgon generators that people can have in their living room, in their bedroom, on their computer, because that would be beneficial for them. So I started to teach myself how to make orgon generators. And like anything else, you have a lot of failures at first, but you also have some successes and you try to minimize the failures and <laughs> increase the, the successes. So, yeah, that was a long time ago, 20 years ago, 2003. Once you determine that you want to do something that brings you joy and is beneficial for the community, you can do your little bit to help mitigate the negative stuff that is being thrown at us. Why stop? You're only going to get better and gives you a reason to get up in the morning and gives you uh, the ability to try to be creative. Not something that I ever thought I would end up doing, and that's usually how life works. You just start something that interests you, and you like to do it, and you keep doing it, and you get better at it, and you stay with it, because it fulfills a lot of your personal satisfaction and needs. So everyone has needs that need to be fulfilled. Going to the bar and drinking on a daily basis is not <laughs> is not that helpful, you know, and a lot of people end up doing that too, you know. Yeah, I put a, a special crystal a striated garnet in the, in the top here that I discovered I had, I'd forgotten. So I put it in the first layer, started to put some brass, started to use the metal matrix and I poured lots of crystals in here. There's shungite, selenite, amethyst, rose quartz, clear quartz, that special crystal that comes from the blast furnace. Oh, I just took a half a handful and there are different colored, different kinds of crystals, probably 10 or 12 different kinds of crystals. So there's probably, oh God, 50 or 60 crystals in here. I mean, anybody who's energy sensitive will be able to, uh, to feel the energy from that. We have millions of choices that we can make. There's no shortage of but the person needs to examine, self-examine. What is it you like to do? What would you like to do? And take a chance. Don't believe anybody. Everyone laughed at me. I mean, a lot of people, uh, you know, they, they thought it was a silly idea. They didn't, they didn't so much out loud say it, but I could feel <laughs> that's what they were thinking of, making orgone generators and throwing them near cell phone towers. It's a bit silly. But I knew of everything that I had read and studied that this is a beneficial thing to do. So because I'm comfortable in my own skin, it, it doesn't matter what others say or feel. It has, it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with them. Since then, I've made thousands of them. And where do you come across an item that is beneficial all the time, no matter how ugly it is or how beautiful it is. There's no failure with an orgone generator. What else can you say about that? Name something else where what you do is always a success. Obviously, I must have had help. Somebody you know, always forces your higher self, whatever, spirit. They put ideas into your subconscious, into your head and out it pops, you, you never know where it comes from. One day you, you think about something and 
you say, well, why didn't I ever think of that before? <laughs> well, the time wasn't right. <laughs> Thank you.